and just waiting for the tab to all right uh, how do we sound okay sounding good mute and mute okay real good hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Monday Minecraft I'm Lord Hercules and this is my soul survival world as you can see we are in the never and we are looking for a fortress because to proceed toward the end game at any time that we want we need the blaze rods to get the blaze powder which we can only get at the fortress so we need to find the fortress and I also need to move that back there yeah in fact I think I might move this crafting bench there so as you can see we have come prepared we have some pretty nice basic enchanted gear plus we have our our god bow with us which we are essentially risking you see that's a backup backup sword this is a backup sword all right now I have been going at this for a little bit and we have well for the most part we've gotten ourselves some gold now I have previously dug this little tunnel here which by miraculous account we found two I I, I I don't even know if they're supposed to spawn at this level or not but we've got at least two ancient debris here two can you believe it two ancient debris I oh oh just a piglin oh and I'm in a hole hello sir All right oh this place is a very much enclosed cave space or Oh no, there's a little opening up there. Let's pop a marker there. And let's see what we can see up here. As we head deeper into the Crimson Forest. Hmm. We're not going to really check out the cave systems at the moment. We could do it at any time. Oh, never so has it. Oh, he's got an enchanted one. Oh, there weren't so many of his brothers around. We might want to potentially try and take that from him. All right, and we got some zombie piglins here too. Fortunately, we are wearing the gold helmet, so they're not going to really bother us. For the most part, this is going to be an exploration stream. For the most part. We're just going to check out a few directions and see if we can find anything. This is the first direction that I'm really going to be going with. Ooh, easy um glowstone. Now in hindsight, I probably should have brought myself a fortune free pickaxe, an expendable one, of course. All right, got ourselves a. Lava ocean here. No sign of a fortress yet. Could be some time before we find one. Stream looks good. It's holding nicely. Oh, it's a picky. Ah! Ha! 
Aha! I have outsmarted your outsmarting. Now I shall eat my food and heal up. While I proceed to shoot you with my bow and arrow. Pow! And pow! Pow! And pow! No. Pow! Really? There we go. Alright, give me your pork chops. Give me your XP too. My word. And I do have to say, but I am a little bit lost now as well, so... That's not really good. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything shoot a slab ocean. Oh, hang on. I've been here. I've been here. I recognize that. That's where my um, little tunnel comes out. And that does keep going on up for a bit, so I might be able to keep digging that tunnel. Excuse me, gentle hogs. <gasps> Basalt! I mean, I mean, not basalt, I'm blackstone. Oh, there's more down there. I, I kind of want that, because it's... This is probably going to end up being a resource gathering trip as well. Alright, so that, that was an interesting little find there. Alright, now I'm pretty sure my little tunnel is this way. bad if they had been triggered by that but yeah they only get triggered by um people trying to steal their gold even if it's not their gold There's a pair of them there. I would rather take them out than risk encountering them. Got him. Oh, there's a third. them too. Alright, give me all this. Hey, we got some leather out of it. Nice. Alright, still watching out for a fortress. 
We've got the warped forest here. Ooh, an intense Minecraft music. Alright, uh, is there a... Uh, essentially, yes. Okay, that'll be our marker. Uh, still no sign of a fortress. Then again, I wouldn't expect to find one just like that. Yeah, I have got myself qu quite a bit lost. And we're only 10 minutes into the stream. I well, might as well get the odd mushroom here. I think our entrance was back here somewhere. Maybe. I see, yeah, I think it was a. Uh... Oh, here it is, here it is. Just as well as that we marked this. Uh, let's see what we can see down here. Let's kind of wander into the uh, the warped forest biome. Ooh, we got some more blackstone here. Okay, let's shift across here. Alright, I'm down to my last pickaxe. I can still get more. <laughs> oh, the Enderman. Poor bloke. Yeah, I really want this black stone. Because for the most part, it's mostly found well, aside in the, the dark reaches underground. Uh, we'll put this here as a marker to say I came from that way. Yeah. The black thing most for the most part is found in the um the bastions. And even deep on the ground. The only way over is up there, and we're down here. There are striders, but even so, I wouldn't fully trust a strider. No offense to them.
I am not dealing with that. Ooh, do pardon that. And I don't have a shot. How much? Okay, we've taken a little bit of damage. We got him. Yeah, we had the panic build there. We have gotten a bit of stuff, so I'm going to backtrack to my little chest area. Alright, deposit our precious blacks down, the magma blocks, this, this, and the lever. And even the cooked pork chops. Uh, we cool? Yeah, we cool. He was hunting that. But I got dibs on the XP. We cool? We cool? I thought that they didn't like the zombie ones. Look at him. Oh, I think he finally realized. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need some more pickaxes. So, actually, we're gonna need to come over here. And I'm gonna set crafting bench down. And I'm gonna need planks. And we need some sticks. Right. Make myself some extra pickaxes. Ah! What the? Ah! No! No! What? What? What just happened? I just got attacked for no reason. What? Oh, I opened... Oh, right, I opened the chest. Okay, maybe not the best biome to be opening a chest in. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, did I put everything away that I wanted to? Yes, yes I did. Okay, I might need to actually construct a bit of a, a, a house base here. Maybe. Okay, uh, okay. Small error in judgment that I did forget that that was a mechanic. But I think that for, for now, we're good. Now, this trip, I'm not really worrying about uh, quartz. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to keep digging this tunnel forward. At this level. Because, let's face it, we, we might find some more. Uh, hello, good sirs. Uh, is everyone clear? Yes, everyone's clear. And we're just gonna dig like this now. What I can tell... 
on stream. It's a bit dark and I do apologize for that. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll make a breakthrough sooner soonish. It might just take a while. But being in the never we gotta be on guard. Because the never is a scary place. Okay, next pick. Okay, well, didn't mean to mine that. Oh! Oh, we've hit open air. Okay, now we need to adjust our tunnel a little bit. But this does give us some light. Okay. We need to go over again. Let's see if we can make ourselves a nice little... Okay. We might have something here. Let's keep on digging and see where this goes. Okay, this is kind of branching off in a diagonal. We will proceed to follow this pattern and carve out this space. Okay, it looks like we do have a an escapable breach, but we do want to make it a bit bigger so that we have our safety assured. Alright, next. through into this portion of the Crimson Forest. I don't feel this is that far away from where we were before. Because it has been a whole long time since then. Let's dig our way up. Kind of funny how the uh, the neverite mycelium, this stuff, sounds like dirt when you break it. It's kind of funny. Hang on a sec. <gasps> I think we've done it. I think we've done it. I think we've found a fortress. And it only took me 23 minutes of live streaming to do it. And this is just the first direction too. Yeah, there's like a skeleton up there. Okay, let's get a closer look. Yeah. Like, this is as close as the land will get us. But yeah. We've got ourselves a fortress here. Now the question is, how do I get over there safely and reliably? Well, I suppose the only way to really get over there is to build. But I'm definitely going to want to build something kind of safe-ish.
And we might make it out of cobble. A ghast? I don't see any ghast. Yeah, I'm thinking something like this would not only look good, but also be like a clear sign that things are this way. So I reckon my first step is to build toward this tower here. Alright, let's left click and place that down. We are going to steadily build this over. The other thing I would probably would like to do is just use a whole bunch of gravity blocks. Now this is likely all crimson forest so we gotta be careful as well because we really don't want to get knocked into this lava because at this point I'm probably way too far away from the shore to survive. Even with pants that do have fire protection, I doubt I'll last too long there. And probably every now and again, we're at ourselves a nice little safety barrier. Like so. Carefully. It's gonna have to see because of the shield. I still have quite a fair way to go. Now, at the moment, this is basically step one. Find a fortress. Step two is explore the fortress and find a blaze spawner. Like, if this has more than one, then I'm really in business. Now, I don't think I'll be collecting the blaze rods this time around. This is mostly to find the fortress. Because, as I've said before, this is just a casual playthrough. Like, I do want to make it to the end, the end of Dragon, to find him and kill him. But,. I'm going at my own pace. I'm in no rush. You yeah, always gotta be careful and wary. Even though when something might pop up, say, hello! And we're seeing a little bit more of the fortress now, as well. Oh, the music is not really helping the tension. Like anything could, something hostile like a pig could spawn at any time, or I don't know, a skeleton might fall down from the sky. I don't know. That death could be inevitable. For now, I just want to get this uh, path over to that pillar. I'm just uh, kind of amazed that I managed to find one so quick. 
it might also be interesting to construct another portal around this area to see where in the world we pop out. And that's something I probably will um, do as well. Because that way I can uh, travel great distances in the overworld and essentially construct myself a bit of a never hub. Like, there's probably still a lot for me to learn about never portals and such. Like, especially how to sync them up. Because that does take math. That's one thing that I've learned watching Hermitcraft. Never portals are complicated. You need to know your numbers. But it's really only important if you really want portals to actually sync up with one another precisely. Especially if your portal on the never is not in the position you'd want it to be. Because usually you do the overworld first, and then the never one. Whatever, you adjust the never one. Alright, good news, we've nearly reached this pillar. And we can see the fortress a little bit better as well. So look, it looks promising. No sign of any enemy forces here. Might even be a, a decent idea to have a bit of a um a strider dock as well. Something to um potentially look into at a later time. For now, we need to work on making this safe to use. Or rather safe to access, I should say. A little bit closer. Like, this is going to use up a lot of my cobble, but A, it's why we brought it. Plus, we have cobble for days, essentially. And we can get cobble for days. All thanks to the good old cobblestone generator, which I have not built. Which does also mean unlimited stone. Okay, I'm, I'm not close enough to reach that yet, or am I? No, not, not yet. Okay, we're kind of close enough. Can I... Okay, I think that we can. Yes, we've made contact. And we'll take some bricks, because why not? Right, now that we have our pathway, let's put in our railings, which for the moment will just be the never rack. But I think I will slab these to prevent mobs from spawning on top of it. Plus, it's a good way to use up the uh, Neverack we've acquired so far. Ooh, if we had dug a bit further, we would be barbecue now. So I suppose our next plan is going to be, well, I think I'm basically just going to build a spiral staircase going around the thing. Maybe not quite so much of a spiral as it is essentially a cube, but you get the thing.
We'll make it nice and wide too. So yeah, we could probably uh, do that from here. This will also be a bit of a dangerous build as well. But then no one said that this had to be easy. Oh, so we're also going to harvest a little bit of this. Because this essentially is going to become... Or well, we can make this a bit of a pathway. Under the excuse that we're harvesting it. Plus, who knows, this could become a pretty good um, spawning area from like uh, wither skeletons as well. Like I know they spawn in the fortress, but can they spawn on just the never brick blocks? Either way, this is definitely giving us some nice resources. Yeah, for this lava round, we do have to be cautious. Because we don't want to be going into the lava. Those almost went in. Like that, I've already got a stack of this. Yeah. That Nihilim is proof that we are still in a crimson forest biome, so pigs can still spawn potentially in this area. heard something. What was that? I don't know. Alright, that's sound effects. Okay, that I think was a pig. Okay, we need another another pig. We've got two left. So we can't do too much digging more. Right, 
Let's keep on digging. It's, I do find it quite interesting how the, the lower portions of these fortresses are essentially nothing but solid never brick. Like, why is that? I would expect these to kind of be like, kind of hollowish. Not a solid structure. But on the other side, it does give us resources that we can pl potentially plunder. L a lot of resources, if we so decide to plunder them all. Alright, that's a fair bit of a channel that we've uh, tunneled out leading up to this fortress area. Now so far I haven't seen what I recognize as a uh, blaze spawner location. I do have an idea. So, so far as I'm seeing, I'm not seeing what I want to be seeing. And that's from down here. I reckon that we're going to keep going until we are flat with this wall there. At a later time I might dig through it to see what we can see. But for now, going right up against that wall will do for now. That is the limit to what I'm going to be digging this little tunnel to. Oh, so we do need to save some cobble for more pickaxes because we will likely need to do a bit more mining as well. I should also add that I've never actually been to a fortress in standalone survival. Like, essentially only in my, um, my god world. Especially in, um, peaceful mode have I ever found a fortress until now. So I'm just playing it nice and safe, nice and casual, no rush. And like that, we're almost to the wall.
Uh, it looks like there's a bit of complexity to the structure of the fortress. But then I kind of expected that. Alright. Last pick for now. And let's just dig a one deep hole here. To say, this is what I intend to do. Alright. Now we have a staircase. A spiral staircase to construct. So now... We need to do this. Yeah, we're going to go with a free wide. I suppose from here we can just go up along the side here. that kind of makes things easy we can just do this and just slowly ascend like this until we get to the top And I'm, for the most part, in the... Alright, uh, yeah. We serve as a never rack. And we got... We harvested quite a fair bit of, uh, never break. Like, three stacks and over a half. Not too bad. Now in case at this point watching the stream or video you're wondering why am I being so meticulous by making a staircase? It's because, well, for the moment I want to return here in case I have further need of getting the materials. Like to make some, um, uh, brewing stands for potion making. Or getting more clerics. Probably getting more clerics would be the, the more likely scenario. But also in case I do need any more Eyes of Ender as well. Like, I may have the pearls, but I might not have enough blaze powder in the end. 
course, I'm probably going to go pretty much overboard. I'm probably going to make... Okay. That's one I haven't heard before. Spooky. Spooky. But like as I was saying, I'm probably going to be going overboard. I'm probably going to make... I imagine maybe three, maybe four full sets of Eyes of Ender. But that's just the kind of person I am. Alright, we're starting to get close to the top. I can already hear pigs. I'm pretty confident that I have enough blocks to do this. Yeah, a little bit longer and I'll be able to get to the top. Now, I may not want to get fully to the top. Like, I might want to start breaking in anytime soon. But, we'll see about that soon. Especially if I might get ambushed from above. Can I... Okay. So this one is going to be very level with that as well. Alright. We might start making a bit of a platform here. And we'll continue to build up a platform uh, staircase going up as well. You never know what, what we might find up there as well. And up there does kind of scare me a bit. We might just fill that in a bit. continues going up being very cautious We're nearly at the level. And it's only taking me nearly an hour to do so. The top. But not the full top.
Uh, I don't really think there's uh, really that much to see up here. Oh, there's the pig. He's on a tree. He's actually on a mushroom tree. I'm pretty sure this goes to a dead end. Yeah, that is pretty much a dead end. Uh, we might as well explore this a little bit. I never really fought a wither skeleton either. But I imagine that they are pretty difficult to fight. I'm probably not going to explore it too heavily. Okay, this dead ends. Okay, so that is a no-go. Uh, let's put that up there. I don't think I've actually heard that wee sound effect before. Okay, we've got mobs there now. Uh, okay, access up there is blocked by this lava. Because I think this is supposed to be where you get Neville warts from. Oh, that's a blaze. Okay, so we've got a blaze and a skeleton. Actually, maybe we can uh, shoot them from this range. Oh, cool. We got the blaze. Don't know if we got any blaze pa any any blaze rods. Yeah, die, skeleton. Oh, how did he? Got him. Okay, so that was interesting. We've got a blaze to spawn on us. That's not too bad. Oh yeah, I see where that lava is coming from. I might actually be able to do something about that. Yeah, I think that's coming from directly above. Let's do this. Let's let's make ourselves a little platform here. I think basically what I want to do gonna create a little cap for it
Alright, that surrounds its perimeter. Now fully. So now we just need to place blocks underneath. Oh, don't scare me like that game. Okay, and I think that might cap it. I say I think I've done it. We have capped this. And since I'm up here, might as well explore this section. And this dead ends onto the mushroom. I don't believe there's anything over here. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing but the view. Alright. Yeah, I would say that this would have been a, uh, a never wart place. Ooh, okay, we got the wither effect. Let's back up, let's back up. Okay, first time I've actually had the wither effect. Got a few blazes there. Oh no. Ooh! Did Hang on, what did I just get? Oh my goodness, I got my first wither skull head. Genuine. I hear more skeletons. Gold, we'll take that. This is it. Okay. We're, we're. Oh shit! Okay, that blaze kind of snuck up on me. I'm pretty sure that we've got skeletons directly above us. Oh, hello! D -d -d diamonds! Five diamonds and more gold. Alright. We're cool, Mr. Zoglin. We're cool. Alright. I think now's a good time to bail. This, this is a pretty uh, nice fortress. I've enjoyed my time here, but it is time for me to bail and head back to the overworld. Now, so far as I can tell, we're not getting any spawns down here. Down here seems to be pretty free of spawns. This has been a very lovely uh, experience. Like, we fought our first weather, well, our first two weathers. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I could miss that. Not really. Uh, okay, um. 
Where's my tunnel? I think it's this way? Okay, that's not my tunnel. Um, okay. I have lost my way. I knew I dig a tunnel out. Wait, is it down here? Mm, no. Okay, I have gotten myself lost. And we weren't even trying. Um, where is my tunnel? I know I d dug a tunnel. Oh, hang on. It's here, it's here. Right, right, right. I, I should probably mark this as well. Yeah. Cobble there. And cobble here. To make me ask, why cobble here? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not exactly very clear from this point. But I can just make up the structures there. Yeah. Plus, I think for extra, I might also do... Uh, let's get some of our never brick blocks. Let's do something like this. And this will signify the fortress. Cobble surrounded by never brick blocks. And later I can add a sign saying never fortress here. And we can do a similar kind of thing when we find a bastion, but with uh, blackstone, especially blackstone bricks. But yeah. I honestly was not expecting this to uh, take this short a time. Like, I'd say we, we've got time to do a bit of uh, bartering with some hoglins. Once we find some. Mm, I probably will resist from mining any of this uh, quartz until I bring a fortune free enchant pickaxe with me. But uh, I still can't believe it. We managed to find a, a never fortress, a first one of the world not much time actually just while we're in here uh, how do I mine never right what kind of pick do I need does any pick work or does it have to be I know it's uh, ancient debris Okay, I need a pick that appears to be diamond. Yeah, it has to be a diamond or neverite pick. Okay, okay, so we cannot mine it with our present tools. Alright, but still, that was a remarkable find. We, were, we weren't even looking for that. And yet we found it. Oh, there's a pick there. We do not really want to mess up that. So we're just going to kill it like that. Take its XP and drops. Give us that. Alright, and since we're in this area, let's see if we can get some bartering going on. Mm -hmm. What do you got for us, mate? Ooh, what was that? 
Never brick. Okay. Uh, let me just change some things around. Uh, at some point we got coal. That must have been from uh, defeating the um. Uh, what you call it? <coughs> what else you got for me, mate? We got some gold. We'll be a bit of a big spender. Ooh, we got some crying obsidian. <coughs> Alright, just do that with my tabbage. Okay, what do we get? We got a fire charge. Okay. Hmm, there's an ender in there. Alright, what else you got for me? What else you got? Let's see what else we can get. Oh, he actually dropped obsidian for us. Arrows. Okay. Let's see what else we can get. Not a fire charge. And we'll drop that. <laughs> Silly Enderman. What do you got for us? Ooh, quartz. Okay. I'm going to... Okay, first of all, back up. Then let's grab our... See, we don't really need to. Okay. I think we're chilling right now. Oh no. Run! Okay, it is right on top of my things. Oh, we... I got a stone sword in all that confusion as well. Which also must have come from the, um... The, the wither skeletons. Oh, I missed. That's a hit. There we go. That's a kill. Alright. So we've gotten a bit of XP back. Uh, is that... Oh, he might be too far away to actually hear. Yeah, I think he's too far away to hear. Alright. Let's put this in here. We'll grab our gold. Um... I don't really need this. I want to take these back with me. Uh, we'll leave the, f the food. Actually, you might as well... Yeah, we're actually going to leave the gold. Uh, we'll take the lever. Grab the black stone. And I think that'll do us. Let's follow our carefully plotted thing as we find our way back. So we've done a spot of bartering. And we found ourselves a nice bastion. I mean, never fortress. Mm -hmm. Nice. We go this way, if I recall correctly. This way. And I think I actually go down from here. Maybe.
I know I'm close to my portal. Okay. I don't think that way. Right. Might be a little bit of a struggle to get out of here. Trying to remember which way to go. Because we kind of stumbled in, th in that direction in the beginning. Uh... I'm going to try up here. I feel this might be... Yes, this is the way. This is the way. I... Yeah, I hear the portal. There it is. Uh, we don't really need to fight Endermen anymore. Now that we have a Cleric, we don't need the Endermen for the End of Pearl, so... They're kind of useless to me. <coughs> okay, we have arrived back out here. <laughs> the Endermen's wigging out. Alright. We can store these never brick blocks here. And might as well store a lot of our other never acquisitions here as well. I might take the warp block back to uh, make some things out of. And I think that we'll transport the rest of this stuff back to base. Ooh, a wandering trader. It's been a while since I checked the wandering trader. Mmm, sunflower, red sandstone, or ever red sand. Nothing that I really want. Not the thing that I desire. Which is sad. Alright, no, for, this has been a pretty good adventure. Like, let's check the uh, armor damage once we get back, because we checked it once before, and we did get hit a little bit after that. But for the most part, we've done pretty well. Mm. Yeah, there's a pair of wandering wa trade alarmers here. Yep, our zombie villagers are still here and sounding healthy for a zombie villager. There's our pathway to our base, which does not line up with that village at all. Uh, let me try refreshing my tab so we can get a better live picture. There we go, that's more like it, rather than being kind of stuck in the never. Alright, so... Overall, that was pretty good profits. Yeah, like, all of our armor took a little bit of damage. Our helmet was a little nicked from the beginning. Our shield is perfectly fine, thanks to its unbreaking free. It didn't get used that much, but still, it held up pretty well. Plus, we made five diamonds out of that and found a whole bunch of gold, which we used some of it to make some stonks. Now I could do a, a few things with these diamonds, because these are essentially plus diamonds. Like looking at what we can do, we could make a helmet or some boots right now. now. If I wanted to, I could go into some diamond toolage. What else could we do with diamonds? Hmm, that is interesting. You can make leather horse armor, but can you make iron and diamond horse armor? Is that a craftable thing? I don't recall. Uh, what else can we do with diamonds? That's right, we can make more enchantment tables with obsidian. We could also make a jukebox. Well, we don't have any uh, CDs as of yet. 
I think that's pretty much it for what you can do crafting wise. Oh yeah, we could also make a block of diamond. But that's mostly a way to mass store masses and masses of diamonds. But that's pretty much stuff for a wealthy minecrafter to do. Alright, like I said, I was going to do that to those. And almost makes myself a whole um, thing. So I'm not sure I did plan on having... Well, I don't remember. Did I want to do that or did I not? Uh... Uh, I think for now we'll assume not, and we'll just put the red stuff in there. And I can't believe that you can't burn this. You can't use it as fuel. Alright. Okay, that seems dark. I think there is also one thing that I would like to do. That's going to involve some iron. Actually, just out of curiosity, does it give me... No, it doesn't even give me an option. Unless I need the, the leather horse armor to start off with. Actually, I think I should test that. Let's actually test that. Let's make one. And does it give us the option? No, it does not. Oh, that was kind of a waste. Alright, back to the thing that we wanted to craft. Helmet. Alright, put our excess in there. Put our coal in there. Bones. Oh, we actually now have a stack of bones. Uh. Alright. Uh, I may not have the 30 levels I need to get max in chat, but let's see what we can get on our helmet with just our levels at the moment. Blast protection 4, that's not too bad. Fire protection 2, respiration 1. Respiration 1. How high does that go? Uh, let's see, respiration. That goes to 3. And the other one is fire protection 2. Uh... The Blast Protection 4 is pretty good, but we do already have that on our armor. Like, ideally, we'd be wanting to go for standard protection. Because we've got Blast Protection on our shirt, we've got Projecto there, and we've got Fire Protection 2 down here. Not the best Fire Protection, but it is Fire Protection. Like, the best one there was probably Respiration. And I kind of think I go for that. Yeah, let's go for that. Because that way we only sack we only sack one level and one lapis. Okay. What do we get on it? Respiration and unbreaking. Okay, that's not too bad. And we are now full iron armor. I have now become literal iron. And that's probably all of the tune I'm gonna sing, because that's the tune, that's the part that matters. We became Iron Man. Alright, so for safekeeping, let's put our 
prime gold helmet in here with its protection and unbreaking. Now, at some point, I probably will be uh, adding it onto this one, which has Fawns 1 and Unbreaking 2. Like, the Unbreaking is not likely going to change, so it'll, it'll keep the Unbreaking free, but it'll gain the Protection free. So this, with its Fawns 1, will grow even more powerful. Alright, so... Now the question probably for me is, what do we do now? Perhaps we should go exploring. Like, we have one thing that we could do for exploration, and that is head toward this ocean monument. But at the same time, as I want to for it. I kind of want to wait until the Cliffs and Caves update. So maybe not. Ah, I did have a shield already. Yeah, I just don't really know what I want to do right now for the rest of the stream. Like, I I was anticipating on probably sp even not even finding one in any direction I was going to go. But finding one and doing all the building to get into and onto it. And doing that brief bit of exploration. That barely took an hour. Actually, it took a little bit over an hour. Still, can't believe that we managed to accomplish that so quick. Like, even with the little bit of time beforehand I spent digging that tunnel. It took us n almost n like, I don't know. Like, there are definitely other things that I can be doing with the rest of my time. Particularly for one other game. Which I'm not going to mention, but it is a very popular game with an embedded sequel. Which is yet to come. From a little developer known as Games. Oh, I don't actually have checked the, um, uh, the comments on the old YouTubes. Uh, let's actually see if we have any sorts of comments. Because I have asked a few questions and I have to admit, I have not really checked for comments. So let's do a check right now on my videos, see if we have had any comments. And I'm seeing nothing, nothing, nothing. I was actually looking at the likes and dislikes, but again, nothing but zeros. Nothing since the uh, the mob farm enchanting episode three, which I'm pretty sure I remember back then. That was back in December, before Christmas. Like I'm kind of shocked that, despite the few views have had, not much of them have been viewed too much comments on them. Hmm. Well, these things happen. Hmm. And I think also due to other stirrings I'm sensing, now is probably a good time to end the stream. So I hope that you watching the live stream of me finding successfully wait yeah successfully finding 
on the first try in the first direction and never fortress. Like, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, but I did. I. In the words of Mumbo Jumbo, I'm chuffed to bits about it. I'm chuffed to bits. So, anyways, if you have enjoyed watching the live stream, and you want to stay stay tuned for when I next live stream Minecraft or another game, because I did uh, I did do a little bit of a live stream of the um, the opening event, which was a very interestingly done for Epic Games. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Fortnite. Yes, yes, Fortnite. I play Minecraft in Fortnite. Minecraft in Fortnite. <laughs> I don't mind. I, I like it mostly for the um, the in-depth story and lore. I don't play it to win and get big boys. It's nice when I do get those, but I play it just for the fun of it. And to play as characters that I like. Like... Iron Man! <laughs> Again, the Iron Man reference. So yeah, anyway, if you really want to check out... If you want to stay tuned for more amazing... Well, I say amazing, but... <laughs> for more live stream content from me, be sure to hit that follow button here on Twitch. And if you're watching this on the YouTubes, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications when I next upload content. Which I am hoping to get to some content. I have admittedly been slacking off on that because I've been otherwise engaged with things. Uh, I'm going to try and do my best and bring out some fresh content soon. I, I think I know what I want to make. Like, I would very much like to make a post banless reaction video for Yu-Gi-Oh! Which I had been hoping to make in the first week of the new list being revealed, along with my thoughts on it, but uh, I just haven't had the chance or the time to do so. I usually devote one day to uh, working on such stuff, and I have been mostly using that day for other things. Let's not ask questions. But also, while you're down the YouTubes, don't forget to hit that like button for YouTube algorithms. And also, leave a comment below. In fact, let's get a little discussion going in the chat. Who... Who reckons we are going to actually find a blaze spawner in the fortress we discovered? And am I going to be able to find any other fortresses should that happen? And how many times am I going to die in these fortresses? Because I'm not a professional Minecrafter. I'm an average Minecrafter. Maybe even sub-average. That's right, I said it. I said it. This is I just love this. I can just go like, close up, non close up. Close up, non close up. Close up, non close up. Extreme close up. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is fun. The fact that I can get a close-up in a two-block space. It's like I've actually become a professional Minecraft YouTuber slash streamer. Dun 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 dun. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be it for me. I'll see you guys next next Monday or in my next YouTube video. Bye for now, because. I don't expect you'll see me sooner. <laughs> That's all for me. Bye for now. Uh, do I need to sleep right now? Yes, I do. Bye, folks. <laughs>